Hey guys, welcome back. This is Eric here with Iraq Veteran 8888. We've been out doing some shooting today. It's been a long, hot day here in Georgia. I've got Tim from Military Arms Channel hanging out here with me today. He's over there uh, nice and cool and collected in his chair in the shade and not getting burnt up. Uh, we don't want to fry him to a crisp out here. But we're going to take some shots today with a straight pull K31. Uh, we've had his Ross rifle out here, a couple other neat things. And uh, we're going to try to take some shots at 1,000 yards here with this K31. This is a 1951 beech wood that's been well worn. Um, I paid $79 for this rifle uh, back in the day. It's been a minute. But uh, we're getting down to the last of the uh, GP11 that's probably going to be in the country for quite some time. All right, there's not a lot of this ammunition left. This is original Swiss service ammunition. Uh, you can see the production date, 1979. All right, so 79 surplus GP11, straight bolt mechanism. And this is a stock unmodified K31. And we're just going to set the sights and uh, we're going to sort of go for it here. I took a few uh, just chance shots earlier. We logged a few hits at 1,000, so we thought it would be fun. We've got a pair of uh, D28s down there. We've got a spotter here that's capable. And uh, gosh, let's just try it and see what happens. Cupro Nickel Steel Jacket. Really cool ammunition. 174 grain bullet. High right. Yeah. right by one target. Off the left edge. Yeah, hold, hold right edge or right target. You got it. I think we're on to something. <laughs> All right, we're going to try again. You know, this ammo, unfortunately, is not really available that much anymore. It's been very difficult to locate. So a lot of people talk about the superb accuracy potential of the K31. And I really wanted this video to hopefully sort of show what these guns can really do. I mean, uh, they are a lot of fun to shoot. They are superbly accurate, uh, good two-stage trigger with about a three and a half pound break, uh, really butter smooth, uh, straight pull action. Uh, they really are just exceptional rifles. I'm going to try six more shots just for fun here. It's a shame this ammo is not really out there quite so much anymore. You can get the Wolf Match Gold, you can get brass and reload it. It's just something about taking a service rifle with service ammunition and going out there and getting the job done is just really fun. Yeah, I'm having to kind of aim down in no man's land in the, in the grass underneath the target. It makes uh, getting that elevation a little spotty. Yeah, we're still high. I think you went a little left right there. Did you have some wind? 
I didn't get in it. It didn't look left to me. Okay. That's in there. <sighs> All right. A couple more. Why not? We were uh, shooting the SCAR 20 earlier, and I was having a little bit of difficulty connecting <laughs> with the SCAR 20, and I think that's definitely uh, me and not the gun. I, th I think we are just sort of trying to get it figured out, and we had a K31 out here. thought we'd, you know, just take a few shots, and... I figure this might be a fun video, you know. It's just not a, a lot of people that try to really make the effort to take these guns out to longer ranges anymore. And we will eventually take this rifle out to even further distance in a future video. Last video, we took it out to 750. This video, we're at a grand. The next video, stay tuned, we'll go even further. Because, I mean, we'll try anyway. All right, six more, and then we're going to... Get back to it here. She is getting a little hot. I'm getting a little bit of mirage off the barrel. Uh, just at the base. That was low? Yeah. All right. All right, last shot, one for the road. Get in there. Oh, man. <laughs> well, I just thought this would be a little, you know, a fun experiment. These guns are really neat, and, you know, like I said, unfortunately, the uh, original ammo is getting a little harder to find. It's an off number though. I've got two rounds left. Hell, I guess I'll get rid of these real quick. Might as well, so I don't have to break up in another pack. Two shots. No idea. Good stuff. All right. Well, there we go. There's our K31 at a grand. Uh, we'll get to some further distances later. It's been a fun day, kind of hot and muggy, but a good day to get out at the range, do some shooting. Thanks for watching. Appreciate you guys. We'll see you next time.